forecast. All right, southeastern North Carolina enjoying the sunshine. 87 the high in Wilmington. Uh, quite a few showers and thunderstorms yesterday, and as we progress, particularly to the latter part of tomorrow, more likely tomorrow night into Thursday, uh, we begin to see at least the risk of some stronger thunderstorms. So we want to first alert you to the fact that uh, there will be an increasing risk of showers and thunderstorms, and maybe even a few stronger severe thunderstorms here as we head towards uh, the end of the week. Right now, Storm Prediction Center, particularly as we head into Thursday, level two out of five. That is a slight risk of severe weather. Let's talk about what we may see in terms of the thunderstorm development. Even tomorrow evening, I have the question, we could see a few pop-up thunderstorms as well, uh, but at least a moderate threat of a few storms with some damaging winds, and you can't completely write off the possibility of one or two spin-up tornadoes or maybe even some large hail with a few of the thunderstorms that are able to roll into the air. It's really the classic spring setup here as the front makes its way through southeastern North Carolina and will eventually push uh, to the uh, east, allowing for some cooler weather to return by the weekend. But until then, it's going to be a little bit unsettled, not washout, but occasionally some pop up or scattered thunderstorms and obviously uh, non severe gusty winds, torrential downpours, small hail and lightning also going to be a factor with some of those thunderstorms as we begin to move towards the end of the week. Tomorrow, the focus is going to be the hot temperatures, 92 degrees for the high. 20% chance of a stray storm. Now, I have to say, there won't be many storms tomorrow afternoon, but if a few storms are able to develop, they do have the potential to be rather strong just because there's so much fuel for those storms. Lower 70s starting off. You can see lower 90s by afternoon. Again, we keep the chance of rain low, but not zero as we head into tomorrow afternoon. A view right now looks like our Whiteville camera disappeared on us, but uh, you got a couple of cumulus clouds there growing in Surf City, but for the most part, mostly sunny skies. The rule, in fact, with, from Surf City, we may be looking off towards the north up at some activity that's developing now in northern Onslow County. Uh, you can see a couple of showers and thunderstorms there kind of popping up. You can see one cell right there and uh, near the Richlands area, another cell well to the north of Jacksonville. But that's really about it in terms of uh, any activity on the first floor digital Doppler. We don't think there will be a lot of thunderstorm activity tonight. The big Big threat area tonight. Uh, parts of the Ohio Valley, it looks like particularly the states of uh, Illinois, Indiana, maybe eventually Ohio, really could be in line for a big outbreak of severe weather, kind of like what we saw last night. Maybe not as bad, but what we saw last night in parts of Oklahoma and, uh, and also into parts of Kansas. 83 in Wilmington, 81 degrees in uh, Greenville, a little warmer to the west, 88 Florence, 90 degrees now in Columbia. Uh, Wilmington about 2 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago, but in the central part of North Carolina, temperatures sharply warmer than where they were 24 hours ago. And again, just to reiterate, temperatures will be the big story tomorrow. Lower 70s starting off, and look at these temperatures breaking the 90 degree mark by tomorrow afternoon. Here is your 10 day forecast 92 for tomorrow, even on Thursday, still hot 90. First alerting you to the possibility of a few stronger severe thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday as that front begins to push into the area. Friday, probably your highest rain chance. And then look at the weekend, 70s for highs and 50s for lows and very low rain chances. It looks like for the Mother's Day weekend, it should be gorgeous. Slight warming trend next week. Storms tore through. Part